Hey everybody, Dale Strohshine. I'm out fishing whitefish right now. I just want to give you some tips on how to catch them. And I'm hooked up right now. Boy, this is... Boy, this one's really taking track. <laughs> I'll tell you what, these whitefish can fight like you can't believe. But anyhow, when you're fighting whitefish, one thing you're going to notice that I'm going to do, I'm going to lift the rod like this and then reel down to the fish. So I'm constantly going to lift like this and then reel down. This will eliminate a lot of that banging back and forth where you're going to lose a lot of those fish. So as you can see, I'm lifting. But when you do this, make sure you reel down. And this way you'll get more of these fish. You won't lose as many. So the other thing, watch at the hole here and then just pull them out. Now this guy here, this guy here you can see is a really nice white fish. And, uh, but anyhow, I'm gonna show you just real quickly the cadence that I'm doing to do this. And one thing that I like, first of all, is making sure that I'm using a horizontal bait like this, like a jigging shad wrap or uh, a Johnny darter, whatever it is that you like to use. But horizontal baits, what, what happens with a horizontal bait is many of them you'll get hooked right through the cartilage of the nose and uh, you won't lose nearly as many fish with that as well. So what I'm going to do right now is just show you that cadence. One thing with whitefish is making sure that you're constantly contacting the bottom. So there's bottom and by contacting bottom you're going to draw a lot of fish in. And then the one thing you can do, the biggest mistake is just by not moving the rod enough. And whitefish are real resilient. So even if you feel a bite, and remember, bites are just a change in resistance. So it's uh, that's why it's so essential to use like a super line. I see a lot of people making mistakes too by using monofilament. There's too much stretch in monofilament, so you're not gonna catch, you're not even gonna notice three quarters of the time when you're actually getting a bite because you got too much stretch. So going to a super line and I'm running uh, the Berkeley Ultrate Carrier in a six pound test which has a two pound diameter. So constantly contact with bottom and you can see aggressive hops like this. This can really help if you have no current because what you're going to do is create what I refer to as a reactionary strike. And then of course, you know, good hook sets are so important. Um, but again, just light lifts here up off the bottom. I'm checking ones in right now. Another thing is when you see that ice building up on here, make sure you clean it off because what's going to happen is the bite is all going to be deadened right at that ice area that's building up on your line. So again, aggressive hops like this with no current or current, you create those reactionary strikes with this really works well, like I said, if you've got no current because you will catch more fish by doing this. And a lot of times you got to just keep your eye on the line because they'll hit it on the drop. You're going to see your rod tip actually deflect up into the air. And or when you come up, they're just going to be there. Now I'm going to go back down and check bottom here a little bit. Oh, there's another one. So you can see this is a great technique. This really works well. And then the lifts like this, like I said, lift and reel down to the fish. This is going to help you catch more fish. There, we got that one. He came off right in the hole. <laughs> so those are my tips for you. Um, if you want to get out this year yet, we still have some time with us at Wacky Walleye Tight Lines, everybody, and have a great day.